Merrily, merrily shall I live now Under the blossom that hangs from the bough Merrily, merrily shall I live now Under the blossom that hangs from the bough Sitting here on my own I love it when people stop to chat. We usually get a wonderful mix of uh, villagers and other visitors from all over the UK and abroad, so I hear a lot of stories. Yet yeah, this is the ghost of the orchard that stood here before they built all the housing in the 60s and 70s. And I was saying all this to my mate Roy from the village. He popped by yesterday. He's a local man. He grew up on the chalk. And we had oil lamps, candles, no phone. And the only thing our mum went to the greengrocers for was a bit of fruit. We had plum trees and all that, of course, and, uh, and uh, plenty of vegetables. And, and back then, you had the vegetables in season, you know. So, uh, so later in the year, you could have the uh, Brussels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and our little black cherries for cherry pie Sunday. The harvest is so powerful, it must be celebrated everywhere. The whole cycle from, from seed to sapling to flower to fruit to seed again. The stones landing again in the chalk and growing again. We have this unique place right on our doorstep and we're all gatekeepers and custodians and guardians and engineers. We have to decide what we need and what we want and if we don't have it, we have to invent it, I'll tell him. And like Becky, I'll tell him the names of the places and the stories behind him and, uh, and the names of the different trees. Watch the owls and the red kites. See the stars on a clear night. Stand by the trees and feel the bark. And remember the orchards. Through bushes and through briars, I've lately made my way. All for to hear the small birds sing and the lambs to skip and play. Oh, for to hear the small birds sing and the lambs to skip and play.